starting the weekend vlog off a little bit early. Um, it's midday on Friday. I'm still working, but we're taking a little break to go get some coffee. Um, I'm going to try cold brew for the first time. There's probably a 6 out of 10 chance that I won't like it because um, I'm not a big coffee person, but um, might as well try it. And I was also thinking it might be fun to do a what I spend in a weekend in Chicago. The weekend starts now. tonight at House of Blues. Um, we're seeing the 502s. I know a couple of their songs, um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna scooter down because um, I just got a scooter. Okay guys, I just made it. I didn't die on the scooter, so it was successful. spend in a weekend so we just got back from the brewery um, so I bought two drinks there I bought a small pour of a beer which is three dollars and then I bought a cider which was pretty good it was like seven dollars so in total I spent eleven dollars there and now we're back and we're having girl dinner
from the concert. Hold on, train. One, one. Oh, there are two. So we just got back from the concert. It was so much fun. And I wanted to update on the price of it. The price of the concert was like 40 bucks, but I bought it a while ago. So really it was free. That's girl math, but I guess for the sake of this video, I'll add it in to the total. It was a lot of fun though. They were a fun group. And now I'm back, I was like, I'm so thirsty. So I'm drinking water and I'm having an orange. woman now you are um so i just spent the last probably two hours opening up my etsy shop because let me show you this thing i made this for um our four-year anniversary this was this was jacob's present and i made it on canva researched all of these places that i wanted to try in chicago and then added these like scratch off stickers um, and then I framed it like this, but I've gotten a couple of suggestions saying that I should um, sell it on Etsy, and I think it's super cute, and I finally did it after over a year. Um, so I kind of cleaned it up a little bit, and I just opened my Etsy shop, so if you want to buy it, um, it's, it's fun. It helps us get out explore new areas of the city that we wouldn't usually go to or we love food huge foodie so just like trying all of these different kinds of food chicago is a great city for it so yeah and it's a dinner all right bye <laughs> Tostones. No. Oh, Tahadas. Yeah. That and um, and then we also split a dessert. In total, I think I spent what, like 20 bucks? Yeah, for an incredible amount yeah, of food. Yeah, it was so good. We have a little surprise date planned by me. Woo! Um, so we're about to leave it for that. Are you excited? Can't wait. Any guesses? 
wine tasting or marks. Okay. Oh yes, happy Cinco de Mayo. guys, we are making dinner for Carrie tonight. Uh, she is in the other room, so she doesn't hear what we're making, but we are making some homemade garlic bread and a crab tomato risotto. So let's get to it. First thing is gonna be, we're going to get the garlic ready for roasting. That's gonna take us about an hour. So I'm gonna get that in the oven and then we'll go for a little walk. All right, we are going to get the butter for the garlic bread started. I am getting so excited for this garlic bread. Just look, just look at this stuff. That is some fluffy bread. We have the garlic butter almost ready waiting on the garlic to finish roasting and so now we are going to start chopping up some onion for the risotto super fine dice we are starting on the risotto uh, put in a healthy glug of oil and some sun-dried tomato and basil butter soon once that starts melting we'll put in some garlic and get that sauteing with some onion. We'll let that cook down, add some rice, toast that up, add some tomato paste, and then finally add the white wine, a bit of chicken stock, and then we'll be cooking. Stay tuned. Just added the wine. I'm gonna let that deglaze the bottom of the pan here, pick up all the sticky bits. We've got the broth in there with the rice. We're gonna turn this into pressure cook mode for six minutes. All right, we've baked out a ton of garlic here, gotten it nice and rich. Let's add it to the butter for the garlic bread. This garlic bread looks perfect. That is pretty incredible. Our risotto is finished. I added in some Parmesan, some lemon zest, some chive, um, a little bit of heavy cream, and been giving it a good stir to get it to thicken up a little bit. It's looking perfect. And the tomatoes are done, garlic bread is done. Time to plate up. Tomato risotto oh with God. crab. Oh my gosh, you and, really? And then I made some homemade garlic bread. <laughs> I, I roasted garlic. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that sounds so good. Oh I'm so it excited. It looks so good too. taste test. This looks so good. What should we try first? Risotto? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my gosh. That's so good. That's awesome. So much like tomato flavor. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. You killed it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>